Hey guys, what's up? Zax here. Today we're going to be talking about my top 5 iconic Formula 1 helmets. Now, be sure to leave your top 5 down in the comment section of this video. It might be a little bit different to mine, but I think this time I've gone for a bit more of a sensible approach. Now, I'm not the sort of person that likes an overly complicated helmet. I really like just the simple helmet, and I think you're going to sort of realise that through the, the 5 people that I've chosen for this video. Um, and also, just a quick note about the gameplay you're seeing in the background. Uh, I think it's a 2005... Formula 1 mod on race 07 and racing as Narain Kartikan. I could be wrong, but I think it is 2005, not 2006. But anyway, let's get into this video and talk about number 5. So at number 5, I decided to put James Hunt helmet. Now, I think this is very iconic because you remember it. It's got the James Hunt written on the side of it. It's got the three colours, red, blue and yellow. It's got a couple of sponsors on there. But, you know, it's not overly complicated. It's just sort of a plain helmet with a couple of, you know, nice additions to it. Now... I could be really wrong in this list of five, but I just love the simple designs, the ones that you remember. You know, I love some of Sebastian Vettel's helmets, but he changes them every race. So, to be honest, I don't remember his helmets. I remember a couple, uh, but I really don't remember them as iconic helmets just because, you know, he changes it every, uh, <laughs> every single race. So, you know, you're going to realise these helmets, they stick with them through their whole career. And I think James Hunt is a very good example of that. A very nice, simple helmet, black helmet with his name on the side of it. The three colours, a couple of sponsors. Uh, but overall, a really, really nice, iconic helmet. Very simple. Um, so, yeah, let's move on to number four. In fourth place, for similar reasons as James Hunt, it's Damon Hill. A very simple helmet you can see here. You know, the iconic sort of stripes on the top of his helmet. Oh, I don't know whether you call it stripes, but sort of lines on the top of his helmet. When you think of him or Graham Hill, you always just remember those that sort of helmet design. And I just really love that about these helmets that I'm showing you today. It's just they're very simplistic. They stick with it throughout the whole career. And I, I feel that certain people nowadays, as I said, like Vettel... I don't know whether they, you know, obviously they love the history of Formula 1, but I think a big part of Formula 1 and sort of recognising a driver is their helmet. For example, Schumacher and his red helmet uh, through most of his career. You just remember that. So it's a bit unfortunate for me, I think, that Sebastian Vettel changes his helmet every single race. I think if it's stuck with the helmet design since you know, the start of his career, I think you know people might have sort of recognised with him a bit more. But I think people get a bit annoyed that he actually changes his helmet every single race. So it, you know, it can work two ways, whether you like it or not. But, but anyway, let's move on to number three. And number three, it is Ayrton Senna. Now... You know, this is sort of a, you know, a really, really nice helmet for a couple of reasons. Obviously, because we identify that yellow helmet with the green and black stripes as Senna all the time. But I think it's such a legendary helmet. It's also made other drivers nowadays want to have a similar sort of helmet design. For example, Lewis Hamilton, he sort of, I wouldn't like to say copied it, but he took a lot of inspiration from Ayrton Senna's helmet. As obviously we all know that um, Hamilton was a big, big fan of Ayrton Senna. And, you know, I think... That's when you really sort of recognise a great and also you recognise an amazing helmet as well is when people will want to start copying it and uh, wanting to have a similar design. So Ayrton Senna's helmet is very, very good. You know, every time you see that yellow helmet, it reminds you of Ayrton Senna. If you're from the modern day, you probably think of Lewis Hamilton a little bit more. But I think if you think of that yellow colour, you always sort of realise, yep, yeah, that's um, Ayrton Senna's helmet. So, you know... It's very iconic, it's very rememberable, and that's why it deserves its place at number three. So, moving on to number two, we have Michael Schumacher's helmet. Now, I do realise that his helmet has changed a little bit since he... I think he started with sort of a white helmet and some red parts as well, but I think ever since he's gone for, to Ferrari, or most of the time when he's been at Ferrari, he's had that iconic red helmet. And I think the one pictured back there was the 2011 helmet. I could be wrong, uh, but I think it was the 2011 helmet. So... Um, you know, it's just really simplistic, you know, it's just red, obviously it's got the seven stars on the top of it, if I remember correctly, I think it's seven stars, because I know he won seven titles, but I think it, each star was representative to the title that he won, so really, really nice, I mean, I think it works well with the visor that he has on it as well, it just sort of worked really well, and it's sad not to see the, the Michael Schumacher helmet racing around anymore, and uh, I really, really... You know, I do really miss the, the red helmet from the Formula 1 grid. Obviously, he was dominant for many, many years in Ferrari and also in the Benetton. So, you know, it's, it's sad not seeing the red helmet racing around the track anymore. But I suppose, you know, that's just a thing with motorsport. Everything moves on and the technology moves on and everything. And you can see here, 
in the gameplay, I just completely mess up. I don't know what on earth I was playing at. I think I was uh, sort of trying to outbreak the other guys and I just messed up completely. So I'm really sorry about that. A bit of a spoil in the gameplay there. I really was, I wasn't doing too badly up until that point. <laughs> and, and I just go and mess it up with one lap to go, spinning it around. So anyway, let's move on to number one and uh, finish off this top five list of best helmets. So at number one, where you've got Francois Siebert's helmet, so hopefully I pronounced his name right. You can see here a very simplistic design, white, red, yellow, and blue. And to be honest, I didn't actually know of Francois until I played F1 2013, and I chose this helmet out of all the helmets possible. Then when I did a bit more research, a lot of people were telling me this is Francois Siebert's helmet, and I looked into it, and I was like, wow, this is kind of crazy. This is a really, really nice helmet. Uh, it went through a couple of stages with through different helmets and obviously different helmets make the paint styles look a little bit different but I just love the simplistic design as I've said with all of these so far so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself here but it's kind of true that I think I like the simplistic designs and the ones they keep for the you know the remainder of their career I don't like it when Sebastian Vettel changes helmet every race there's nothing against Sebastian Vettel it's just I don't like seeing over a different helmet every race I think it's a bit it sort of takes a bit away from the personality who is Sebastian Vettel so that is pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it I uh, enjoyed making this one doing some research getting my top five together be sure to leave your top five down in the comment section I will be reading them and uh, trying to decipher what you guys think is the actual top five uh, I'm not sure if this is right or wrong but you know let me know in the comments down below and um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. I should have another top five up in a couple of days' time. Not sure exactly when it's scheduled, but I'm hoping to get another top five up soon. So as always, your comments are appreciated. The likes on the video are appreciated. If you really liked it, you can leave a favourite and share the video. But thanks for watching. It's been Axe, and I'm out of here. Goodbye. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It's really, really appreciated. And if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. I'll try and reply to as many as possible. You've got two videos on your screen. To the left, the latest F1 career mode. And to the right, you've got a random video. You can click on which one you want to. And also, if you haven't checked out GT Omega, go and check them out. There's a link down in the description. And they've got really, really good racing cockpits. That's a really, really good price. So go and check them out. Check out the videos on the screen. Check out my links, Facebook and Twitter, in the description. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's Blanks, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.